What's up ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today for you I have a favorites video. This is all of my favorites. Makeup, skincare, I have some tech stuff, I have some random things in there. These are things that I've been loving. So, if you guys like these kinds of videos, make sure to give your girl a thumbs up. Let me know that you want me to continue doing favorite videos in the future. Also subscribe, hit that little bell notification so you guys are notified when I post new videos. So I just launched my new website. It has everything on there, all of my latest videos. It has favorite products, everything in one place. So if you guys are interested in that, I have that linked in the down bar below. So without further ado, if you guys want to see what my current favorite and obsessions are, then just keep watching. Like I said that Becca, uh, like I said that back to Where should we start? Okay, well. Okay, so next. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to get into my favorites, but we are going to start with skincare. So my first skincare favorite is this Tropical Vanilla by Eminence. Now, I absolutely love this stuff. It smells so good. I don't know why I feel like the need to smell it so I can describe it, but literally it's like tropical vanilla candy on your face. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I think it's a good thing. It smells so good, but the best part of this moisturizer is it's SPF 32. If you guys wanna see my skincare routine, let me know in the comments below because I have very problematic skin. My skin is super sensitive. I always have texture on my skin and I've found some products and ways to kind of keep that at bay. Not perfect, but you know, as best as it can be. Um, so anyways, I love this stuff. It keeps you protected from the sun and I can wear it under makeup, it's not too crazy, and it protects you, so this stuff is amazing. Good consistency too, I think that's really important with a day cream under your makeup or whatever, that you want the consistency to be nice. It's a little bit thicker for a day cream, but I feel like that's important if you wanna stay moisturized and you want to, um, if you wanna keep your makeup from not looking too dry, if you like to bake, this is really good for that. Okay, so my next favorite, is the Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. Now let me read this, okay? This is all-in-one lactic acid treatment, deeply exfoliates the dull surface on the skin for clarity, radiance, and younger looking skin. Visibly brightens the appearance of aged spots and discolorations. Yes, please. So I use this at the end after I do all of my skincare. There's an order that you should be doing your skincare. I don't know if, I, if you guys know that about me, but um, I'm a cosmetologist, so Skin, hair, and nails are, you know, something that I went to school for. So I know there's an order that you need to apply your skincare in order for it to have the best absorption. So this is one of the later products that I put on my face. This is a treatment. So this would go on before like heavy um, cream or anything, but it goes on after serums and all of that. Anyways, I really love this stuff because I feel like it helps in combination with the next product I'm gonna show you. It helps with texture on my skin and I definitely notice a difference. When I don't use it and I'm being lazy and I'm like skipping through all the extra steps and I basically just wash, tone, and moisturize, I notice a difference in my skin. So I'm loving this product and I know you guys will like it too. It's on the pricier side, but I feel like a little bit comes out and which is perfectly enough for your whole face. So I think that it's worth it because it doesn't require a lot of product to get the job done. So good jeans, Sunday Riley. Okay, so the next skincare product is this SK2. Now this is also a little bit of a pricier product, but if I had to pick between this or this one, I'm going SK2 all the way. I did not think that I was gonna like this. I was like, oh, this is a hype, this has gotta be, um, you know, they're just buying it for the brand and blah, blah, blah. But um, I got a little bottle of it and I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna try it. And as you can see, like I've used um, a good amount of it. I've been using it every day and I don't use this on a cotton swab. I'll put this on my fingers because I feel like a cotton swab absorbs more of the product and this is pricey, so I'm not trying to waste it. So I like try to be really careful and like, I'll put it on my face, but you put this on after toner. It helps absorb 
Um, it helps your other products to absorb better. And this helps me with texture more than that, more than anything. I would rather have this. It helps so much. Like, and it's weird because it's an essence. It's the facial treatment essence. And I would never think that an essence would help you with texture, but I guess it's probably just allowing those other products to work better into your skin. So it's a skin balancing essence made in Japan. So this is a good thing. So definitely check this out. I really, really like this product. Okay, so next, we're moving into makeup. Ooh, I love makeup, obviously. And these, okay, some of them I've had for a while and I'm revisiting, but they're my favorites right now. And I just wanna show you every single thing that stands out to me, that's standing out right now. So first of all would be this Too Faced thing. Obviously, it has the most adorable packaging, and you would think one would buy it just for the packaging, and probably part of me did. But inside, it's got this little, it's like a little box container, but it's so cute. It has um, three different colors, and I just swirl these all together and put them on my cheeks, but it gives you this um, glow. It's like blush with a glow so mixed with my highlighters just like i'm glowing girl i love this stuff so anyways this is a really good color what is this one this is in the light pink box it's called candy glow i know they have two other ones i believe one's like more of a peachy color and one's more of like a it's called but it's just like a deeper color so anyways absolutely love this super cute packaging as well okay and another um oh and this is by Too faced sorry guys so this is by Too faced and it's called Sweetheart Perfect Flush Blush. Okay, anyways, another Too Faced product is another blush that's been kind of standing out to me that I've been using more often. This is called Love Flush, and this is in the color Justify My Love. But how cute is this? Obviously, super cute for pictures as well. But this is the color I'm liking. And I feel like it's super pigmented, and you don't have to use a lot. I feel like with blush, it can start looking really chalky and dirty and muddy if you put too much on. So this is really, really good. I love this. So those two blushes from Too Faced. Then I have been loving, living for this Marc Jacobs. Now I was using, and I'll still use it. Sometimes I'll mix it if I don't want to be too glowy, which is rare. But um, I'll mix the Becca and this one because I still have it and I want to use it up. But this is the Marc Jacob Do You Dew Drops Coconut Gel Highlighter. So this is meant to highlight your face, but I literally use it over my whole face. So I'll put this on um, my whole face as like a primer, and then I'll get, like I have my Tarte Primer, and I'll put my Tarte Primer under, over this, under my eye area, and into like where my larger pores are um, on either side of my nose, and I feel like that gives me that balance because it kind of mats out a little bit under my eyes fills those pores and then on the perimeter and everywhere else i have this like gorgeous glow i don't know let me see if i can show you guys a little bit what it looks like because it's probably gonna look ridiculous honestly because it's kind of crazy but under your makeup it's not um i don't know if you can see that but it's not as crazy honestly it's not as crazy as um it looks coming out of the bottle so i would highly suggest this if you guys want to have a glow I'm you know tan skin so definitely take that into consideration if you're lighter than me try the Becca cosmetics one it's called um, backlit primer or something like that but it's by Becca and um, this is definitely a really really good one for more tan skin and that one may be for more fair skin that's probably why I like this one better so anyways yes Marc Jacobs do you drops Okay, so another favorite that I have been living for. I bought this a while ago. I was using it, not using it, and now I've been literally, I cannot stop using it. I use it every single time I do my makeup. This is by Becca. It is the Under Eye Brightening Corrector, okay? And I don't know, I think somebody was saying there's two shades, but I never noticed that there was two shades. Anyways, so it's this cream correcting concealer and I guess if you consider this a concealer and not a primer um, I wear three concealers let's call it a primer this is what I use for a primer I prime for my concealer so I'll put this on first I usually put all my primers on and then I'll put this 
for my um, concealer primer. Then I'll add my concealer, which is my first color, it's a little bit darker, and then I do my foundation and then I do my highlighting, which I'll show you what I use for that um, in my next products. But I absolutely love this Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, so definitely check this out, you're gonna love it. Like I said, that Becca Corrector is amazing, and I use this product after, okay? so. I've used this for years. This is the newer version, but I'm using it differently. And I think, do they have, I wonder if they have this color. So in here, it's very dirty because I use it every single day. Um, there's two light shades. There's a contouring shade and there's, I believe this is a corrector. Let me see what it says. So honestly, I use this for cream blush and I put this on underneath my blush so that my other blush, um, lasts longer and it you can see it more because usually blush i feel like fades but if you put something on underneath like a cream anything cream that you follow with powder it's going to last longer be more vibrant so i always do a cream and i definitely think i have a higher maintenance makeup routine but i mean i love makeup and i do a lot of photos and filming and stuff so that's just kind of what i'm into so you know if this is not for you if you're not into all that i completely understand so i would just get the becca the Becca one in the pot that I just showed you. But if you do more film and you like to have a more glammed up look, this is amazing. So I'll first take the blush with the end of my beauty blender and I'll put it in here and I put a little bit on my cheeks, um, on the outside apples of my cheeks because I have a round face so I don't want to go inside. Then what I'll do is I'll take the dark color and then I'll go and contour with cream contour with my beauty blender hollows of my cheeks, around my hairline, um, under my chin, all these places. And then I'll go back in with another beauty blender and I'll take these two colors, I mix them together, the lighter colors, and I'll start highlighting my um, inner portion and a little bit over my nose to start highlighting and in between my eyes and in the middle of my forehead and my chin. And I'll start highlighting the center. And I'm telling you, it's so easy. Everything's all in one little place and I just just go, and now I have my whole little thing. I just grab the dark, grab the blush, and it's just so quick for me. And it really makes an impact on my makeup. I feel like my contour looks like contour. Everything looks the way that it's supposed to. So I love this product. I feel like this is probably my favorite makeup product, the one that I'm using the most right now. Absolutely love it. Okay, so my next favorite is this NARS Casino Bronzer. It's bronzer, and the name is Casino. Now, I absolutely, love this i used to love it years ago but i've been revisiting it and i use a big big brush for this and i just go where i um you know put that contour that cream contour down and i put this on over top but this just gives you a glow also and it's just such a beautiful color laguna is for maybe like a lighter shade and i'll use that too i'll sometimes mix them or i'll use this i mix everything so i go back and forth between casino and laguna laguna is for lighter skin tones casino is for darker skin tones but i absolutely love this stuff if you guys want a good bronzer um, i have another one that i've been loving which is i've loved forever it's the tarte um, amazonian clay bronzer what is the name park avenue princess that's my absolute all-time favorite this is the one that i've been loving and it's my favorite right now i absolutely love it so next we're gonna get into tech items. Now these are things, I don't know, the first couple ones aren't necessarily techy tech, but you need to plug them in, so we'll call them tech. Okay, so this is my little fan, and I have this in my one of my other videos in my bloopers because I use this when I'm filming, and I stick this in my purse because I live in San Diego and your girl gets hot, so I just like, just get up all in here. But I absolutely love it, like how cute is this? And it lights up, it like, you can have a party, like a disco party, it's ready to go. But I love this thing, I got this off of Amazon, and not only is it functional, it's adorable. So, check this out. All right, my next favorite is this. It's so funny, because when my husband walked in, I was like, hey, honey, look at what I'm doing. And he's like, what did you buy? And I was like, it's not a cigarette, okay? I didn't buy myself an e-cigarette or anything. This is a stylus pen, okay? so. You squeeze this little top off and you write things on your phone, which I think is really, really cool. And then what's even more cool is they have another end that's thicker on this side so you can color things in or do whatever. So you can get real creative. But I just thought, how pretty is this gonna look in my purse? And 
it's pink and it's beautiful and it's functional. Okay, next, techie item. So I've been doing a lot of filming and I've definitely noticed I've been using this so much. It's helping me stay organized with all of my um, SD cards. So if you film, you take pictures of your family or whatever it may be, I would definitely suggest getting one of these to house all of your SD cards. It's been so helpful. And I got this one off of Amazon, but I don't really like the yellow. I just don't know if I even looked for a different color, but I really, really like this. I've been using it so much more. I've had this for a really long time, but I've been using it more lately. So it's definitely one of my current favorites. Also with SD cards, I have this little attachment. Now, okay, so you take your phone and it plugs in the bottom and you stick your little SD card in here, which is really, really, really cool. And you basically upload all of your information or whatever you need straight to your phone. And it works so good. I have one for my purse and I also have one um, for my desk. So I'm ready to go and get everything uploaded that I need to upload. All right. The next tech thing, this is a newer item for me. Okay, so the next tech thing is a newer item for me. This is a charging cord. And what I like about it is it's tiny and it's small. I don't have like a super long cord in my stuff, but let me show you what it looks like. You pull it out like this and see, it's got a little cord right here. And then I think you pull it and then it gets longer. So, and then you pull it again and then it just goes right in tucks inside but look how cute it is it's a little bear or something but it's a little charging cord that you can just stick in your purse okay so next tech stuff I've been loving my airpods airpods is that what they're called love 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 these you guys like I do a lot of um books audiobooks I've been listening to like one book every two days honestly I'm just like obsessed when I get ready instead of music I'm doing audiobooks I'm just trying to like feed my brain knowledge so these have been helping me so much and I just stick them in and if I want to like tune the kids out or whatever it is I just put these in and mama gets some peace for a second so I got this case which is also one of my favorites off of Amazon and it's really cute and pink but also it protects everything and there's a little area that you can flip open so you can still charge it. But I absolutely love these and I love my AirPods. My husband got them first and I was like, eh, I don't know if I need those. And then after I got them, I'm like, okay, now I see what he was like obsessed about, um, obsessed with these four. So anyways, love my AirPods. Another couple random favorites is first of all, my water. Um, I got this off of Amazon. It's called Slim, I think. This is the tall 32 ounce, and I feel like if I have two pushing three of these, then I'm drinking my water for the day, and I feel really good about it. So I love the color of this. It keeps things cold. Like, I'll put water in at night, and then when I wake up in the morning, it's still cold. It's amazing. If you put ice in here, this baby's staying cold in the hot sun in the car. So I absolutely love this. Also, one of my last random favorites is this makeup bag. This is a luxury favorite. I am obsessed with this makeup bag. I did not think I was going to get this because I was like, oh my God, I'm going to trash it. Why would I ever? But it wipes out really easy on the inside and it just, I feel special using it. I just, it's just one of those things I know I'm going to have for years and years. So it's definitely an investment piece. You have to invest um, because I can sell it or whatever I need to do, but I love, love, love it. And if you guys want to see what's inside, I have a whole video on what's inside my travel makeup bag, and I'll list that in the down bar below for you guys. But I love this thing, been loving it. This is one of my latest favorites. So, all right, ladies, that was my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was everything that I'm currently obsessed with right now. I love filming these videos. So, if you guys like them and you like to watch them, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Let me know that these are the videos that you like to watch. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell notification, get notified when your girl posts a video. Don't forget to check out my website link in the down bar below and all of the product links as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love, 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 love to hear what your favorites are and maybe um, any questions that you guys have in the down bar in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie. Bye.